The most impactful, I think, of Marx's critiques centered around the psychological pathologies that capitalism generates, a fetishization of objects of production, uh, an alienation from uh, the process of production, as well as the social pathologies created by what he called capitalistic exploitation, right, oppression and inequity. Of course, by now, you should already be able to anticipate Girard's answer here. If fetishization, attributing surplus value onto objects, is part of our psychological constitution, then Marx, while warranted in identifying production relations as that which channels fetishization, was incorrect in concluding that they were also its chief cause. The Girardian says something like, show me a society where people do not unduly fetishize a set of objects, be it capitalistic, religious, political, or cultural. Show me a society where there isn't some form of oppressive coercion. Show me a society where inequity, real or psychological, has been